This winter marks the first for the Street Angels program in Cranbrook. It's a center that fills in some gaps for the homeless, the sheltered poor, the elderly, and anyone else who walks in the door. We try not to duplicate any service that's already available. So like Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, they have lunch at Salvation Army. So we don't serve any kind of lunch and we don't open up until they close down. The center offers a warm place to hang out during the day, coffee, food, companionship, and access to services. I get a haircut, I can... I got my flu shot, pretty much. It's good down here. This place is awesome. Before the Street Angel location opened up in Cranbrook, for many hours of the day, people without shelter had absolutely no place to go. Myself, my daughter, and many other people that I know uh, walked, just walked around town trying to find a warm spot to stay. Stairways, the library, uh, the bank entrances to banks, just anywhere where we could keep warm. So as I said before, this is a godsend that people really, really need it. The Tanaha Nation often uses its own resources to serve the center, such as its nurse and doctor that come in on a regular basis. There's a lot of people who come in with, um, you know, accidents that have happened out on the street, um, cuts, wounds, abrasions, things like that. So. A lot of time it's uh, connecting them with other health services that are in the area. Some amenities that were slow to catch on at first have become the most popular. When we first opened up, nobody would touch the computers. Now what's happened is we got a waiting wait list for people to get on. For me, I found even that it became even better for me that I could use the computers, contact family members I haven't contacted in years. They have a way of contacting me now that before now I never had a chance to even communicate with them. On average, 50 to 60 people sign in at the Street Angel Center every day. For the Kootenai News, I'm Kimberly Davidson.